looking forward to meeting you. Ah, very exciting. A lot of very good meetings, uh, very good presentations, so it's a great opportunity to come and see security and the Gulf region. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if, if to see the security market, you know, as, as they all say, the security market is uh, changing, like, you know, it's, it's really dynamic, and if to see the threat vectors also, they are, like, getting sophisticated day by day. Okay, so, so from a Barracuda point of view, how do you perceive the security market, especially when you talk about the Middle East region? I think, um, so for us, security is a global market. Uh, the threats are not localized. The types of threats are not going after one individual or one country. So all of the work and efforts that we do are really meant to address our customers on a global level. Um, so from an innovation perspective, from an investment perspective, from a go-to-market perspective, our presence uh, has been for 15 years very important for us to be around where all of our customers are. And even today, the locality of a customer may be in one region, but their businesses may be operating around the world, and many of them come to Barracuda to get the security protection that they need across all of the different threat vectors that they have. And you know, especially like 2016 was considered to be a market where there was a huge skill gap. You know, like uh, various threats or attacks that happened was, was uh, playing uh, to play the cause of the lack of skill. I can comment on that and then I'll, I'll, I'll ask you. So I, I think the skill gap continues, uh, which puts a lot more on the vendors like ourselves to make products easier to use, easier to manage, and easier to update and provision, which is part of the core of what Barracuda has provided since its inception. We've made a lot of investments in network security, application security, and email security to make it very easy for customers to leverage to have that protection. We also are leveraging a lot more machine learning, artificial intelligence, heuristics and analytics so that we can make sure that it doesn't require more and more burden for the customers to figure out what's going on. The threat is very dynamic and we have to be leveraging very dynamic technology for this. I don't think the average end user is aware of it more than knowing that it exists. But it's permeating many, many aspects of their day-to-day, -day. Um, be it in automobiles, be it at homes. Uh, from a security perspective, you can't operate now without leveraging some level of machine learning capabilities because the level of the threat and the dynamic nature of the threat requires you to be very, very quick in order to determine the response. The people who are making the attacks are very sophisticated in understanding that if they make a little change here or a little change there, they can allow much more spam to get in, or they can be a polymorphic nature to the malware, or they can determine how quickly to spread throughout an environment because there are weaknesses throughout that. So having that capability with the amount of data that we have allows us to protect individuals, especially in very difficult security challenges. Having to, you know, uh, Barracuda, our solution tackles different areas of security areas that need to prevention about the uh, data as a whole, data uh, data, different parts of the solution that require to, to do effective nowadays with the ransomware that we are having. This is one of the areas we need to do it. We have the perimeter protection where we go to the uh, next generation firewall and other areas. Everybody is now going from the online and they have the uh, online bank and the uh, information uh, uh, communication and transfer. So we have our WAP solution there. So these different uh, solutions are all of them can be in a way or another managed centrally by our managed uh, centralized management tool. It is much easy and much simple to deploy and to, to monitor and, uh, and to manage. This makes your life much more easy. Of course, we go back to the same discussion that I mentioned before, is that skills requirement. So now, instead of having a skill set or a talent to do something, 
there's a different technology that protects you from the fire, can be done with maybe 50% of that. And doesn't mean that you don't need the other, but there can be more innovative in other areas for the IT to do their business much better and more efficient as we know. So, I don't know if I answered my question. Your question is what? government or even the feedback that we have seen in the last two days in the market here. Whenever you mention the cloud options for the people, they still have this concern. But I believe in the next couple of uh, years going on forward, I believe the mentality should change and will be changing very soon. So uh, the on-prem business will survive, will remain there. But people, they have to take different actions. So there are a lot of things, a lot of push from the vendors, a lot of push from the customers, from every, every side. So the cloud business is, it is a major, major thing that's going to change in the next, next few years. So everyone's talking the same language. Security sites, I believe, that can be fully covered in the cloud section. But uh, yeah, the, the switching, routing stuff. Is in I mean, generally, the biggest question the customers have about moving to cloud is twofold. Where's my data? And if they're comfortable with where the data is, and they recognize that data in a cloud that's present in the region could be more than sufficient for what they look for, and they have the right data protection on it, that's a useful uh, strategy. And then they always ask the security questions. Am I making sure that I've got the right security? And you know, in cloud, you have to think of security in two ways. You have to think of the security of the cloud itself, and then you have to think of the security of your workload that you put on the cloud. All the cloud providers will provide you the security for the cloud itself, but it'll be your responsibility to secure the workload. That's the shared security model that AWS, Azure, Google, and everyone talks about. This is where they come to people like Barracuda, who provide first class and best in class solutions to help them with those security capabilities for the workloads they're putting on top of those clouds. I mean, if, if this came in after their, uh, say, one security boom and one security boom for your customers, what would that be in, in one sentence? Do another one. You're making things so complicated, I don't know. For us, security is something that you have to do, to look after all the, all the time. It doesn't mean that you can do everything, and it doesn't mean that you can do nothing. So you have to always, it's a, it's a journey that you have to uh, uh, chase and to follow up on, from on different layers, on the people, on the infrastructure, on the application, and, and later on, on the cloud itself. So uh, we say, our technology, we have to look after all these uh, areas, and that's why we believe that uh, everybody is jumping and making sure that to do as fast as they can from their end, and Barracuda are one of the leaders to make sure that we are uh, to support our customers. 